I am doing my presentation on beer and plant. So it is the latest innovation in the ACL restoration. So the platform of the beer is the bridge enhanced ACL restoration in plant. So if suture pair of the ACL augmented it with the protein in plant, place it in the gap between the stone and the ACL. These are the clinical trails. There is beer 1, 2, 3 and this is the beer node. This is a multicentric ortho outcome network. So beer one is the level two evidence, the rest of the three is the level one evidence. And beer one and two both uh, completed their two year follow-up and uh, beer three and the uh, moon they are currently only. Next there, uh, there is primary endpoint which is similar in the, uh, uh, the last three studies that is the IKDC score and uh, and relaxity and you will be posterior that was needed to the action. Next, this is the uh, general and the level one clinical study result at two years. Uh, when we talk about the uh, primary outcomes in, uh, in PCL reconstruction and beer, they are equal. At two years in PCL reconstruction and beer and plant patient, they are both are same. One two, six, I think same. And IGDC score are also same in both patients, ACL reconstruction and beer patient. But the scanty outcome, uh, so uh, hamstring stand that is uh, so, uh, super, uh, superior in the beer and blood patient. And at a six year, at six months, twelve months, uh, actually the, the patient felt four times more confident uh, with the beer and blood. So when we talk about the IGDC score at six months, mm -hmm. uh, we are taking a two control it's a reconstruction patient and the patient operated with the beer implant. So this is the graph. Here we can see IGDC score greater than 90% seen in greater than 90% seen in 40% of the patient with the with the beer implant and 11% of the patient in ACL decondition machine. But it was same at uh, two years. So on the it was also uh, seen that on the contralateral side, uh, on the contralateral knee the TA rate decreased to two and a half times. And there is a potential reduction in the osteoarthritis chances because of the proper suction. Next is the TCL when when they compare the ACL restored with the beer implant, it, on the opposite side, on the uninsured side, uh, knee, in sizing and function strength. In the side, they have seen the cross section. This is the black line that. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, right. This is the black line that shows the uninjured knee, and this is the blue line that shows the patient operated with the beer implant. And we can see the X is in the, in the cross section, and that upper one is the PCL graph. And this is the signal for the functional functional stand. We have to see the signal intensity. The lower the signal intensity, that is the better the signal intensity. And this is the line uh, about the unshorting normal thing, and this is the beer line. Next is that there is an easier vision in case of bleed here. All the graft options are available, the critical landmarks are present, and the outcome appear to be like the primary ACL reconstruction. So the main problem in ACL is because of the synovial fluid, it prevents the formation of clot and bridge at the side of the wound. But in a MCL, there is a formation of a, because of the formation of clot and bridge at the wound side it can heal on its own. So this is the difference we can see. A bridge at the wound side is not present in the ACL, but that is present in the MCL. Rest cell migration is, cell migration, collagen production, cell and vessel proliferation, they are present both in ACL and MCL. So the solution for that is the beer plant. The material they use that is hemostatic, Type 1 boivin collagen 
that is resistant to the plasma degradation and the absorption absorption rate is balanced with the new tissue formation and the implant is designed to cool the blood allow cell migration and proliferation and support the revascularization so in their procedure they add the suture to protect the healing ligament so anatomically uh, we have to apply the tibial stem suture that hold the torn end of the tibial remnant to aid the femur portion femur portion and and by and that uh, this is the clean suture that reinforces the joint by the clinical benefit the clinical benefits of the it bear plant is that it restore the normal orientation and alignment of the knee it uh, preserve the proprioception fiber eliminate the need of graft harvest and region like primary axial reconstruction that is easy and less pre op and intra op challenges so here we can see the a uh, acl here this is the proximal is mid substance and the distal in the proximal the repair is possible but in the mid substance and the distal the repair is not possible so we can use a uh, beer and plant in So the selection is patient selection is similar to the ACL, a less than 18 year and greater than 18 year, all the three. So the technique is there are six steps. So first is that we have to assess the stem, stem, stem. Then we have to build the tunnels. Then we have to suture the stem. Then we have to pass the button. Then we have to prepare the beer. Then we have we have to implant. So in the first step, we have to assess the stem. We have to address the other pathology first. Then we have to leave the anatomy intact, and we have to maintain the tibial stem. And not plastic, we can do. And then we have to drill the tunnel. For the femoral side, we have to drill the tunnel just anterior to the uh, footprint, and for the tibial side, two to three m into the stem. And we have to use the drill bit two point four, and then we have to suture the stem by using the camera. This is the picture shown. Then we have to after that we have to load the button. Then we have to pass the button on the femur side. Then we have to do the beer beer perforation. For the beer perforation through the anterior medial portal, uh, you can extend the anterior anterior, extend the portal, and we have to withdraw all the blood and we have to uh, dry the knee. Then after that we have to load the implant. This is the picture shown. To insert and it hydrates. So this is the beer implant here, putting blood on it. After that, we have to, uh, we have to tie the suture. We have to extend the leg. We don't uh, need to do the latchment after, and we have to extend it overnight. And next is the protocol, clear therapy protocol. In this, we uh, the important is when the patient returns to sport, sports. Uh, usually, after seven months, they uh, all sport, but uh, when there is a coating sports. It's not recommended to return to sports for nine months. Next, why the beer implant is important? Because it preserves the anatomy, it restores the native ligament biology and proprioception properties. It eliminates the donor morbidity like pain, weakness, poor fit or under fit, under size graft, hamstring, and easier vision, and the potential to decrease the prevalence of osteoarthritis. And in pediatric ACL, it provides the growth rate disruption and small degree.